Hey guys, what's going on? So we back here with another review. This time it's on the brand new MetaLab vegan protein. Now I've seen it everywhere and obviously a massive thank you to Jake from MetaLab for making this happen. Really do appreciate it. Now guys, I'm no vegan, but of course the most significant person in my life is. So I've had my fair share of vegan proteins and from the offset, when I've been trying them and stuff like that, I'd say <coughs> a few companies come to mind. Of course, guys comes to mind. The vegan protein has probably been the best vegan protein I've actually tasted. Um, and in South Africa, you know, all of them pretty much taste the same per se. Bit gritty, bit earthy, not the best, not my favorite. But hey, we tried these things, um, especially for the ones you love, you tried, you tried. So anyways, um, they have just relaunched the, the vegan protein again. And Jake is very confident. I like that. I like it, Jake. I like it a lot, bro. Pause. But with that being said, um, so the two flavors that have been you know, like kind of redone, revamped, let's just say revamped, that's a good word, um, is the vegan, okay, protein, yes, the cocoa chocolate or cacao chocolate. That chocolate is normally is a safe bet. Of course, there's no uh, strawberry, because, you know, that's, that's not, not what's her favorite. Um, but we do have banana pancake batter. So excited to try these and see how it tastes. Okay, guys, so 250 mils of water in ooh, the competition goes lifestyle shaker bottle, the clear one too. So obviously it's, it's like this because this is the only clear one I have. And also I want to see the consistency. And I'm sure you guys do too. And um, how well it mixes. So remember, this does have added Dajizam. Um, and the last thing about vegan protein is if you are lactose intolerant, this is perfect. Obviously, no lactose, there's no milk in here whatsoever. And um, yeah, it's always good to mix, mix things up. Again, guys, man, man. It's just that be doing things, bro. Uh. Proteins. Oops. You definitely get like a banana smell in that. Looking forward to this one. Yo, Jake, Jake, been speaking some, some big game here. So let's just check. But um, when it comes to meta lab, protein wise, in my opinion, they are literally up there, if not the best. Obviously, it's a very controversial thing. We all have different taste buds, etc., etc. But you know, more than that, you look at label, you look at transparency, you look at mixability, you look at texture. Man, obviously, price is, is a bit hard, but yo, you get what you pay for, literally. So yeah, let's let's just go for the test this year. I like that it's not too thick. That's probably the worst, so you get something thick and you don't enjoy it. But uh, a lighter kind of consistency. Oh, sorry, texture. Man, I don't really smell that earthy tone, though, which is good. There we go, textures here. You still get a like, smoothness to it, too. Man, that, that is so good. I've had um, Ghost Made a Pancake Better one too. I've had that. Man, this is actually better. Man, this is really good. Wow. Whoa. Yo. Mm. Yo. <sighs> really good. Man. Best part, no undertone of like the earthiness or anything. It's just... You get like a nice kind of like pancakey batter banana vibe that's not too overpowering banana it's not too pancakey it's like the right mix in between so bro this thing is this thing is lit man like I'm not gonna lie mm. <sighs> man yo i know she's gonna love it, man this is like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. The best one I've tasted. I'm not gonna lie. Sure. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Man's out checking getting people to be vegan. I ain't got no problem with that. Because the person I know best is the best person I know, which is a vegan. So, yo. Hey, honestly speaking, guys, dude, this is a, such a good flavor. This um, mm, banana pancake batter is so good. Honestly, like when Jake was saying, yo, you know, do the, the blind taste test and, you know, like compare it to whey. And I was like, yeah, oh, hey, that's what the whores say. But yo, 
just when Jake says something, especially when the man shows his face, you know it's, it's legit. So this thing here, woo, it's amazing. Like you would not, literally you would not know it's vegan protein. I just gave this to you, you'd be like, yeah, oh, that's such a good flavor, so unique, it's different. Like what, what, what way is this? No, 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 it's a vegan protein, bro. Like he really took his time to make something incredible. And I can't wait for the feedback. Yo, what's the missus gonna say? But anyways, with this being said, taste says, sure, bro, this is the highest by far. <coughs> I know the ghost vegan was, you know, obviously ghost is the thing that propels you first ghost. And then you taste it, it's like, you know, you have that very strong undertone. But this year, even afterwards, there's no aftertaste. It's it's phenomenal, man, I'm not gonna lie. So this right here, I'm gonna give it a resounding, man, 9.3 out of 10. Like the texture is straight to the T, my favorite. Not too thick, not too thin or runny, just like right there, smoothness to it, no grit. Oh man, the man's hit it. Meta lap. Whoa, what? Man, amazing. On to the next. So we got the cocoa chocolate. Um fact that the but banana pancake batter. Oh, amazing. Ugh. Anyways, so I have high, high, high expectations. That's always the thing though. Like if the one flavor schmacks, you expect the next one to schmack as much or even more. So a lot riding on this because chocolate is a is a very standard flavor of course I'm a, I'm a i'm a big chocolate fan so you know this one's going to be interesting nice thing about it, the scoop is purple that's kind of um and oh okay this is a this is a blue i like that the scoop is a different colors again there's no outright earthy smell to it which is a good indicator and good sign so this has a very strong cocoa or cacao kind of smell to it so it leads me into the right frame of mind to think this one's going to be smacking hard. It's making really good. So let's let's mix it up. Again, consistency is amazing. There's no camping, no mixability issues. Texture is right up my alley, not too smooth, not too thick. Um, and you always get a good pour with this. Yo. Mm, mm, good man it's good okay again i don't smell any veganism to this like normally you smell the pee or isolate or something like that this is oh i'm looking forward to it yo <laughs> now I obviously had the the the, the cocoa flavor or chocolate flavor lost but i think it was like two years ago and that, that was really good don't get me wrong but it did have a significant earthy tone um but then obviously you look at the other elements to it the ingredient profile everything so you understand like okay it's earthy but it has x y and z it's fine i understand but this is here yeah, similar elements too but the taste is just so good you would never say this is actually vegan protein and i am shocked i've never never had such a good flavor this is even better than the banana better because obviously i like chocolate and this has more of a chocolate milk taste which is crazy because normally you would have to be you know mixing it with some maybe sweetened almond milk or something to make it taste better but this as it stands even with water is insane and yes i normally drink my stuff with water so yeah smooth no grit nothing oh man this is like Measure making vegan protein protein of the year. Man, that'll be insane. That's that's mad. Um, but yeah, as it stands, this is an incredible flavor. And um, yeah, guys, I'm I'm shocked. This is insane. For chocolate vegan protein to not even taste like a vegan protein, that's like mind boggling. That's like the, the the final of the century, to be honest with you, because that's my whole grab of vegan protein. You always get the element to it where you have to add something to it to make it taste better. It's never like, oh, let me just put water with it. It'll taste nice and drink it down. Nah, you always get that earthy, gritty this thing like that. Ah, you just down it quick. But um, man, I'm blown away. Jake, I, I need this in my life every day, bruv. You know, and I can't wait to see what she says because this thing is like next level. And you know, I've been around the block. You know, she has also too with trying all these vegan proteins. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. But um. Man, in a sense, this is this is like honestly better than most, if not every whey protein out there that is chocolate, and that is just mind-boggling, bro. What? Oh man, fudge me, Jake. 
very seldom in my life do I ever get excited about um, ways per se, unless it's like maybe a, a, a unique brand, like let's say Ghost Comes, you've met a lab and they send some protein, of course CNT too, get excited, it's a bit of excitement, but normally it's just like, okay, it's going to taste like X, Y, and Z, it normally does, but this is like, wow, wow, hey man. Even right to the very end, there's no grit, nothing. Mm. This flavor here, the chocolate, bro, I'm going to say 9.8 out of 10. It's literally probably the highest score I've ever given a protein. But knowing all the work that went inside this is insane, bro, because this stuff is incredible. Oh, Jake, bro, you are a legend, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Yo, I mean, Dan needs to try this, bro. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. But yeah, for five guys, like, that's it. I mean, however much this may cost, is worth the price. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, this is not your whey protein. Yes, I understand that. But for a vegan protein to taste better than most ways, it's insane, literally. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you do see this around, do try it. Even if you're not vegan and you never tried vegan protein, if you go on this, just stay on this because as soon as you switch to something else, you're gonna be like, what is this? This is absolutely incredible. So. Absolutely incredible job, Jake. Meta that wow.